Welcome back. This is part two of my Do I Fit series, and today we're going to try these 25 bikes on for size. If you didn't see the previous Do I Fit video, this is why I'm doing this series. Frustrated by the inability to go to a motorcycle showroom and just sit on a bike, I decided to make an accurate scale representation of myself and do a little test. Basically, I wanted to see if I would ergonomically fit and be comfortable on any of the bikes I'm interested in. I'm going to show you how someone 6 foot 1 inches tall fits on all of these bikes. And it's going to be an accurate representation as I'm using the actual wheelbase figures from each of the models measured against my recorded height and physical dimensions. But enough of the preamble. Let's get on with the show. Here's me and how I fit on the following motorcycles. I've included a couple of quirky and exotic machines in this one, just for fun. Pause the video if you want more time inspecting a particular bike. There were a few surprises in this lot. Some of the bikes, like the Kawasaki 900 RS and RS Cafe, looked more cramped than I was expecting. And some like the Ducati V4, the new Fireblade and Rebel 500 all had more room than I was expecting. I threw the Rebel 500 in because of Honda's apparent intention to release a 1100 version of this bike, using the engine from the Africa Twin. The VMAX was another surprise. I was expecting to be more cramped on that one. Another viewer requested bike, the Suzuki M109R, also really surprised me. It looks super comfortable. Although a little tight, I could get away with the X-Max scooter in the standard riding position, but putting my feet up was out of the question. The Yamaha S-Max scooter was definitely too cramped for me. Of the scooters, the BMW C650 GT offered the most comfort, even allowing me to put my feet up. Another viewer requested bike was the Triumph Bobber. The viewer also asked that I show the seat in its furthest forward and furthest back position. Both looked pretty comfortable to me, but if I was doing a lot of highway miles, I'd probably have it in the furthest back position, allowing me to lean a little further forward into the wind. For comfort, the viewer requested Royal Enfield 
650 interceptor was another standout. Well that's it. Now you've seen how a 6 foot 1 inch rider fits on all these bikes. I'm going to put together a 5 foot 7 or 5 foot 8 inch rider for future bike videos. So you can see both ends of the spectrum. Hope this video was of value to you. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.